Today's gonna be another amazing, fantastic day because we are gonna talk about should you rent or should you buy cameras? And I got good news for you. I have to get on a flight in less than an hour to go to Vegas and this is gonna be quick, but quick, it's also gonna be good. The thing you gotta think about when you're getting cameras is number one, how long is this relationship gonna last? It's like a relationship that you know will come to an end. It could be soon. When Sony first started coming out with their Sony A7S's, it was every year that relationship would end and you'd wanna get a new one. In most cases, you typically don't know when is your relationship gonna end with that camera and does it really make sense to buy? In some cases it does, in some cases it doesn't. How I look at it is, is it something that I'm going to be using on a day and day out basis to make me money? For example, here's some tools that we use every day to make money here. We have a bunch of phantoms because if one breaks, you need another one. And then if you break that one, you need another one. And, and if that one breaks, you need another, and so on and so forth. You get the idea, that's why we have so many of them. Guess we break them. We have our custom made drones, we use those. We have our cameras, we use those all the time, our audio gear, our gimbals. These are things we use every day to make money. It makes sense, it would not make sense renting these things for me. Maybe for you, but not for me. Can I pop on a plane like I'm about to in a few minutes to go make some money? And in that case, it's maybe something you wanna have on hand if it's your everyday money maker. But something that I learned about renting versus buying is that it's always not the smartest choice to buy. By buying cameras, I am actually constraining my creativity. I am kind of putting a stop, a damper, and saying, well, with what we have, what we have in our toolkit, we can do X, Y, or Z but we can't do A, B, and C. By budgeting in your rental gear, you can really just expand the needs. And in my case, sometimes we really need to shoot raw and I've always held back because I don't have a camera that it does raw to my liking and something that I would use on a day and day out basis. So sometimes we weren't thinking of shooting raw when the situation clearly called for it. So renting does let you choose what is right for the job, not what is right for today. Before I get too far in this video and I get too many haters, I wanna talk about a few different things that I do suggest buying. Number one, here are my tripods. A tripod is a necessity. It's like oxygen to me. You have to have one. So this is my favorite right now. It's my Bembro. Um, I have my light stands. Okay, do you see that? That's amazing how that sits there. This is like a dolly track. I have my LED lighting. Right now I'm using Dracast. I don't know if that's how you say it. That's how you say East Coast ways, Dracast. And then back here, my cord bags. I have a shoulder mount. I have a couple monopods. I got some audio gear. I got some more light stands. These are the freaking awesome light stands. Actually, let me show you these real quick. Hang on. These are light stands that I recommend every human to buy ever. Now, they're a little bit expensive because they're Manfrotto and it's a brand name. However, they are super fantastic because these are like mini light stands that come in this little package and they travel and they break down and they come back so easily. They are amazing to have. I have some heavy lifting tripods back here. I have, uh, then I have some bounce things and I have my boosted board bag. But these are some things you should buy. I'm also gonna talk about today some things that always kept me from renting, things that I, I just didn't know the process of renting because it kind of scared me, I'll be honest. I didn't want to rent because I didn't understand it, but I'll tell you, I've gone through it a half a dozen times in the last couple weeks and it's pretty darn easy if you do it right and with the right people. So I needed to rent a GH5 the other day, a GH5S, not the GH5 because I got the S. Since I do all my renting through lensrentals.com, I quickly got online and I typed a question like, hey, what lens should I get with this camera? They responded pretty much immediately. I could have called, yes, but I need a company is able to cater to my needs and my needs is I am freaking busy and I don't have time to pick up the phone and call you. So they have multiple avenues to be able to reach out to somebody and it is so, so nice. In fact, I'm willing to admit it because I'm supposed to know everything, right? Because I'm a YouTuber, they, they know all things, right? I was making an order with lensrentals.com and they actually contacted me about the Canon EOS R and they let me know that, hey, you need an adapter. I had no clue that the Canon came out with this awesome new camera that they have awesome new lenses for that none of my other lenses will work for, and they were so quick about it. That's the kind of company you need to look for. Another thing that always kept me from renting when it should not stop you from renting was working with some local companies sometimes, and not all local companies are like this. I shouldn't really put them all in a bucket, but I'm telling you, I would rent from people like, oh yeah, it's gonna be back on this day, or it's gonna be back on this day. My point is, they just didn't have the stock to be able to handle my needs. I had to plan out like four months in advance, and my business doesn't work work like that. I need to have something quick and having it delivered is better for me because I don't have time to be running up. I mean, I'm, I live in Dallas. This is, well, how many people here? Millions. We'll just say millions, right? We have options when it comes to renting cameras, but I want to choose somebody who can actually cater to my needs, get to me quickly and send it to me in the mail because I ain't got time to get in a car. And I certainly don't have time for them to get their camera back. I know LensRentals.com has been fantastic for me because they always have available what I need. Going along with what I'm talking about right now is making it easy. You got to make it super easy on me because we're busy. And if 
you're not busy, you'll be busy soon. And if you're not my situation where you're going from place to place, you're busy because you're a running gun and you're a one man show and you gotta do this all yourself and you got time to be going to places and making it hard for you, you gotta make it easy. So LensRentals.com, they send an awesome box, all categorized out and organized very nicely to make it easy, not only for me to get my cameras, but keep it organized, look professional, and then easily send it right back to them. Let me show you. The first thing you'll notice when you get your box from LensRentals.com is it's funny. It says right here, yeah, not the happy side. The right side says release the happy. Open here. I already knew from the first moment I see my first Lens Rentals box that I'm gonna like these people. People that are funny, that have time to humor and joke in a corporate America world where I came from, you're probably some good people and you'll be easy to work with. What's nice about this box, it's made with Kevlar. I'm kidding. Amazingness. This thing is built like a brick house, if you know what I'm saying. It's really an exhilarating feeling the first time you get your lens rentals box. It's so well put together, I wish they could come here and organize my cameras, but they would probably not like that because it would be a horrible job. First thing, when I open it up, I see smile. Everything is protected very well in here, so it's really nice. That was one of my major concerns before renting was like, hey, I'm gonna get this stuff, it's gonna come, it's gonna be broken, it's my fault. Get the insurance anyways. They organize things so neatly, it's never gonna go back that nice. I wish it was, but it's, yeah, it's, it's not. So for this order, I got the GH5, S because it's freaking awesome. Just did a review on that and I'd like to do another review on it because it's freaking amazing. I also got the Sony RX100 Mark VI. Yes, this is the Mark VI. I'm so just making sure they look alike. Don't judge me. I mean, not all cameras look alike, but these ones do. Ooh, this is tight. Tight. A little tight to get out of there because it's Sony's overweight cousin, the Canon G7X. One of my favorite cameras that I despise. And what I mean by that is it's a love-hate relationship. I really like it, but at the same time, it sometimes makes me angry. But it makes me happy where the Sony's don't make me happy. So it's all a happy family. That's why I got both. Makes sense, right? I also got the Leica 8 to 18. I'm gonna be honest, when I was reviewing the camera prior, I, I didn't get the lenses, the exact lenses that I was really looking for. For lack of knowledge, not lack of ability of LensRentals.com, my lack of knowledge. But this lens is butterly nice. This is the way I like lenses to feel. This is legit. I mean, it's lightweight, it's small, and my gosh, compared to my Sony's lens, I mean, it feels the same quality, but yet it is a weight of like freaking half. Probably not, but it's pretty darn close, I bet. Also got the Sony A6300 because I want to shoot some tutorials. If you want to see how you make things cinematic with the A6300, let me know in the comments below. So I have all these cameras out there, super amazing, but then what do you do? You have these cameras. How easy is it to get back to LensRentals.com? Let me show you. They give us this little pack here. It's amazing. It has everything in it. You have a return label. Not only that, they explain in here how to do it just in case you're not smart, but I'm sure you can figure it out. They also even give you your tape. How amazing is that? And they even have time to put more funny things on the tape. I think these people have too much time on their hands, possibly. This is how hard it is to return a rental from LensRentals.com. You got your label, BAM! BAM is not necessary. And you got your tizape with funny stuff on it. I can't do it! Yes I can, I can do it Brian. You can do it, you can do anything you put your mind to. My flight is literally leaving in 45 minutes. BAM! This is definitely never opening again. Now it's ready to go back. Now sum up everything, just think about it. This is a $2,200 camera here in the US without a lens, you're looking over $3,000 for this camera. You can go to LensRentals.com. If you just wanted to get it for one day, that's gonna only cost you around $90. That is nothing in comparison to getting this camera, making the wrong decision, and it's stuck with you permanently, or at least until you can afford another one. If it's something you can use every day, buy it. But before you buy it, you should try it. You gotta try things before you buy them because I'm telling you, once you get it, you're stuck with it. I have at least $20,000, $30,000 on the other side of this wall right now that I did not listen to my own advice because I did not know my advice yet. When I'm talking about wasting money, I had to sit down for this one because I get a little, little leery, leery. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna pass out when I, when I point this out. But behind me, I got some drones, some bigger drones are up top. Each one of these drones, once you get the batteries, once you get the gimbal, once you get everything, they cost me the time, they cost me like 15 grand a piece. These drones, I don't use every single day. Last year, for example, I used that drone over there for one time, one time, yes. So please, learn from me. Rent it, get it, 
love it or rent it, hate it, return it. If you want to try Retinal cameras yourself, I'm an affiliate at LensRentals.com. What that means is you can save yourself 15% if you use my coupon code. Click the link below, save yourself some money, rent some cameras. Please, rent before you buy. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If it was not, make sure you smash that subscribe button because then I'll come out with some more videos that you'll like later. If you love the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button. In the meanwhile, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you soon.